Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David and today I would like to talk about my Calathea collection and how I care and cultivate them in my garden. Basically, these are ideal plants for a bright shaded garden with high humidity, also suitable as indoor plants. However, they can be very challenging plant as they can be very fussy over their humidity condition. This particular one has a glossy foliage with dark burgundy back. These characteristics help the plant to absorb optimum light, especially in the dark under the heavy forest floor. However, not all uh, cattleyas share that kind of characteristics. There are some which has a darker colors and some are are more on a pink notes and some don't even have the dark uh, uh, back leaf especially the zebrana so they have a huge variety of difference and Catalia can be quite interesting as they are quite varied. I also planted few other species here to regulate the water issue especially here if you look at it this philodendron mikan somehow seems to be like a thirsty plant that helps to regulate overwatering for this uh, Cattleya species. Here you can see I also have added Aglonema and Daphnebachia species just to give a very nice compact full colors and uh, different variety and shades of the colors in this plant. I want to show you the soil medium that I use. It must be fast draining and should not be over potted as these love to be in a compact root ball system and keeping the more medium fairly moist but should not be soaking wet. Uh, if you notice the stems are all standing upright, uh, sometimes you will find that certain leaf will actually dry out, you, sh you can trim it off and if you have over potted it or over water it, the stems can fall away due to over and they become the root ball has become rotted. As you notice there are burnt tips here, there are many reasons to it as lacking of humidity or over watering or even using tap water. As I mentioned before, these are indeed a fussy plant and I would not actually recommend it for any new beginners. Because even I have killed it so many times with different varieties as the root ball rot away. So do watch out for overwatering, especially this particular kind. You can trim off the burnt tips off if you want to. However, when the right conditions are met, the leaves gives out a lush, full, healthy look, especially in this kind of uh, pot here. I want to show to you the medium that that's appeared to be is more like dry but moist not should be soak not to be soaking wet as you can see i actually place all this in a compact position i used to have this plant uh, more full and lush full and compact but eventually this particular one had died away and this is what i managed to save and i've actually placed them tight in a compact root ball and they seems to do fine Currently, I find this particular Calathea, known as rattlesnake plant, does well together with other shade-loving plants. As I mentioned before earlier, regulating them with other thirsting plants such as Aglonema, Daphnebachia, and Philodendron give that colorful, dense, mixed uh, kind of a combo collection, uh, especially the shade-loving plants, somehow give uh, that beautiful look just a quick summary keep this uh, calithia as a close root bound condition especially do not over pot them do not over water them uh, especially they look actually they can get crown rot and root rot and if you can do plant other thirsty plants together to regulate the wat over watering issues these are shade and high humidity loving plants so do not put them in hot bright side areas also be cautious about using heavy chemicals or using tap water on them as strong fertilizer or any of that kind can actually burn the tips of the leaves so i would like to conclude this 
thank you so much and if you have any comments do put them uh, your questions below and uh, if you can i would appreciate if you can click like and subscribe and support my channel thank you for visiting and have a nice day thank you bye recently i have been having a writer's blog and was not able to make any videos or write anything in my blog I, i'll try my best to pick up the pace thank you so much for being patient with me have a nice day thank you bye